Yeah. <laughs> this is from QT. Oh, right. To examine a yeah. Oh, that will be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no. Uh, the thing is, uh, I would like to assure you that I've been studying since maybe five months about the knowledge based economy, especially in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is adopting this, uh, the knowledge management processes because uh, knowledge based economy based on the knowledge. And knowledge sharing is one of the main processes. Of the, and especially the education is taking uh, around maybe a 40% of, uh, of adopting this, uh, the, the knowledge management processes. So you will find the gaps easily and for sure. Uh, since uh, I think 1990, based on uh, the World Bank uh, methodology of assessing the knowledge-based economy, Saudi Arabia jumped from 1.8 to 5 point something, which is an average. It's out of 10. Uh, as in the value of knowledge economy inside Saudi Arabia. So I can assure you that you will find that, especially in the education system, uh, the education sector. Public sector. Yeah, and, and the public sector as well. Uh, the comments. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Thank you for the question. Uh, okay. Thank I you. used to be a project manager in Bin Laden company. Which is, is it? Oh, yeah. Bin Laden. Okay. Oh, right. uh, Bin Laden here. Yeah. Uh, That's the company. company. Yeah. The company. Yeah. Yeah. Something, something yeah. I've noticed over the last few years, I think since 2001, 2002, is that the term knowledge based economy, many countries <coughs> are trying to somehow embrace and make it as part of their vision that they want to be the knowledge-based economy. I remember a few years ago, it was Hong Kong, for example, the knowledge-based economy. And I remember there was one year that the government of Hong Kong dedicated for that, the label of, you know, they called that year the knowledge-based economy. What does it really mean? Uh, a knowledge-based economy, it's actually a transformation from yes. a production-based economy, let's say, yeah. we'll talk about Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, they are mainly based in uh, their economy, uh, its economy based on resources. the oil, yeah. Yeah, on resources, uh, minerals, let's say. But um, uh, the aim for, uh, or the vision for two, uh, 2020, the year 2020, to, to achieve the, the level of, of transforming from knowledge based, uh, uh, from sorry, uh, production based or oil based economy to, to uh, a knowledge based one, which is uh, mainly. Uh, focusing on the, uh, the the people, the intellectual capital, and uh, to raise, you know, the the the, the, uh, the level of knowledge between the people, so yeah. they can they can solve the problems easily without without any barriers, yeah, and using the expert people to to, to move uh, the the country, you know, forward. So industries like banking, industries, insurance, uh, um, trade, is that? classified as knowledge-based economy or a traditional production economy? Uh, I think some are still in Saudi, uh, they, are, they are now, you know, uh, some, some of the companies, especially the, uh, after uh, Saudi Arabia joining the WTO, most of, in 2005, most yeah. of the banks and financial institutes are, uh, spend, uh, are uh, finding uh, a new category of jobs related to the uh, uh, knowledge management manager or chief management officer, which is uh, uh, mainly taking care of all the issues and, uh, and processes of, uh, of knowledge management, and especially the public sector as well. And it has been taken as a top-down enforcement from the, from the minister of, uh, of, uh, of ex-ministry, down. the down and uh, bottom-up as well. To, uh, to to make you know the, the, the two concepts between the uh, the bottom down uh, the bottom up and top down uh, enforcements to reach you know the, uh, the, the to get the achievement of, uh, of being you know and, and I recognize as a knowledge based economy country thank you for that for your valuable I think <laughs> it's very interesting and in, in what what is it all shit because 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 Hong Kong we we'll talk about just you know before we started the seminar, uh, Raman and myself were talking about Hong Kong and, and how you know they have especially large banks there, like HSBC and, and others, are putting so much effort nowadays on knowledge base and knowledge based economy. And I'm just wondering whether actually the traditional businesses that used to be part of that, you know, the bank support all the production now seeing itself that no, we sell the knowledge, make money out of it rather than 
Thank you. Very interesting. Sir, if can yeah. I just make Please. one uh, One final, question. final. Yeah. No, it's a question of you. Oh, oh uh, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me. No, yeah. Basically, knowledge management, isn't it just a label for something that's existed uh, for years anyway? since perpetuity and it's, a, it's more or less a label you put on the maturity of an or a country or an organisation in, in its Pass. economy. So it's, <laughs> so it's directly related as a label to the maturity of a country's economy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt about that. Because basically relying on one type of resource or a number of resources, that's not sustainable. So that's not sustainable. So and, and the whole idea of moving towards this knowledge-based economy is to say that we want to reach a certain yes. level of maturity and sustainability so that we'll be able to you know, continue. So we put a label on something that we've always had to do and we knew we had to do. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean no, I'm talking about, about country's <laughs> level. I think it depends on the country. Yeah. Like, like right. Hong Kong and Singapore, yeah. that's the only resource they have. People. That's right. Yeah. And so, and therefore, they, they want to, to transform the knowledge. Absolutely. Well, if you have other resources, that is not as critical. You, know, you should concentrate on the other resources you have, or you should use yeah. more yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because we have limited resources. We have limited resources in Saudi Arabia, oil will be finished. Otherwise, the petrol price will be five dollars a gallon. Solar power. Solar power, that's right. Okay, any more questions? Any comments? Well, okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the presentation and we'll take all these comments on, on board. Um, I would like you to join me in a traditional way in thanking uh, Professor Pam Bang and his guests who made all, or came all the way from uh, Brisbane this morning to spend some time with us. Thank you very much.